This video demonstrates running ADS command line simulation on Windows. In Knowledge Center, search for Windows command line simulation under ADS product. Click search. And the ADS command line simulation on 64-bit Windows will be among many search results. Click the link to open the solution. This is a Seguin shell script that sets up the environment and runs ADS simulation with the HP subsim command. And this is a Microsoft DOS command prompt batch file that does the same thing. And there is a Windows PowerShell script. I will start ADS GUI to generate a netlist for a schematic design and then I will run Windows command line simulation with that netlist file. First, I will start ADS 2021 update 2. And this open an example workspace icon, click it, and then in the open examples dialog, I'm searching for amplifier. There are many amplifier examples. I will use this amplifier WRK example, click browse to choose a different destination directory, select folder. Click finish and the ADS example will be copied to the destination directory and opened. I will open this trend test schematic design. Select dynamic link, top level design netlist. It will generate a netlist.log file. The dot log extension is hidden on Windows system, right click on the workspace in ADS main window folder view, right click and select explore in file system. We'll open this file explorer for the workspace directory. The netlist is a text document with dot lock extension. I'm closing this netlist.log file I'm closing file explorer I will minimize ADS main window and schematic window for now I will open a Sigwin terminal and then copy commands in the Sigwin shell script to this terminal Sigwin is like Linux environment. So I'm changing directory to the amplifier WRK directory. Notice it starts with slash six drive slash C. The directory se separator is forward slash, unlike in Windows where backslash is used. And the file I'm looking for is the netlist.log file which I just generated from ADS GUI and that's the content of the netlist.log file. ADS license is set in environment when I install so I, I don't use the ADS license file in variable. Right now I define a temporary variable points to my ADS installation sim arc is a required environment variable that must be set to win 32 underline 64 for 64 bit windows and the reason i define that variable to, for ADS installation directory is because i need to insert four directories under ADS installation to the path environment variable notice that sigwin like linux the the limiter in path variable is colon. That's why when I define this HPE software directory, I have to define it after I set the path. And this HPE software 
must have C colon in name, and which colon I cannot use in the path variable. And this is correct command would be incorrect. Uh, on the right side of the e e equal sign, it should be uh, the temporary variable ADS root because there's a C colon in HPE software. The command to start simulation is HPE sub sim, and then the netlist followed by the netlist file to run simulation, netlist.log in this case. You see the simulation was completed and output was created. Spectra.row and the ADS data set file, train test ds train test is the schematic design cell name and that ds is ads uh, data set file i'm using im command to delete the output file because i want to run command line simulation in dos prompt click this window icon type cmd to open a command prompt window and changing directory to the mpep file wrk directory again notice that in windows the uh, directory separator is backslash i see the netlist.log file in the workspace directory Again, I won't set ADS license file, but I need to define HPE software. Notice the double quote I put around the whole expression because there's a, a space between program and files, directory name. And I define tbrand home. This is only required if I have very log A in uh, use. And then I need to define sim arc equals win3264. And then set path. Again, insert four ADS directories to the path. Notice that the path delimiter is semicolon in uh, DOS. And HP sub sim netlist.log to run simulation with the netlist.log file. I'm checking if the dataset file named star.ds created, yes, uh, trendtest.ds was created, and then spectra.row was created. I use date at the time to double check that those two files were indeed just created now. Now I will use del dos command to delete output file because now I will run command line simulation in Windows PowerShell. I will click on the Windows icon or the search icon and then type PowerShell and I will run it as administrator. It will open a PowerShell window. Now, I want to change directory to the ampler file, underline WRK directory. Notice that slash is accepted as directory separator in PowerShell, like in Sigwin. And checking the directory, I see the netlist.log file and double check there's no output in this directory and now i want to use the powershell command dollar emv colon hp software to set ads installation directory and dollar emv colon tbrun home this is in case very log a files are used so tip run, I don't have very log A modules. That's why the 
in the Sigwin case, there was a mistake in Tiburon Home, but it, it still works. And again, dollar EMV colon sim arc equals win thirty to sixty four is required. And then dollar EMV pass insert those four ADS directories and uh pass delimiter is a semicolon like in DOS case. And the command to run simulation HP subsim netlist.log and data set was created so is row file. Uh, I would if recommend if you want to run command line simulation use Linux. Um, but if you have a Netlist file to run a simulation you don't need to use command line you can run it in Windows. I mean in ADS Windows. I'm opening ADS schematic actually ADS GUI uh, first of all, I want to make a copy of the netlist.log file. I copy it to net.ads file. This is because every time you run a simulation or generate a netlist from ADS schematic window, first uh, I want to use dynamic link, add netlist file include. I want to use this netlist include directory to include the netlist file. Select include files, browse and then browse to the workspace directory to add the net.ads file. So every time you generate a netlist or run a simulation, it will generate netlist.log. That's why I rename it to avoid it from being overwritten. And then I want to display parameter on schematic. Click apply and include files one equals net.ads appear. Select this gear icon to run a simulation. Simulation log starts. Simulation finished DDS open. You can plot results in uh, DDS window. Plot output add. Okay, it's plotted. So that's how you can run a simulation uh, with a netlist file in ADS GUI and this knowledge center ADS command line simulation on 64-bit windows contains three scripts three scripts for running ADS command line in Sigwin or Microsoft DOS command prompt or uh, Windows PowerShell thank you very much for watching